Oh, I was halfway down the straight. I was sideways. And we even go. Let's pick it into here. Oh, lovely. Oh, I'm on the wheels. Keep going. My... Here we go. Down the straight. Oh, 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 oh. that was close. <laughs> Last lap. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm wagging down the straight. Left, right, left, right. Right guys, we are back with the Traxxas UDR Unlimited Desert Racer. And what have we got for this today? And this is not just a workshop video. We are quickly gonna fit something and then we're gonna give it a good thorough test. So what have we bought for it? So guys, we have bought these. If you've seen our video on the Traxxas Sledge, we bought some cheap Chinese alloy parts, which have been really good. So what have we done? We have bought some sway bars, or anti-roll bars, whatever you want to call them, for our UDR. Now, what do you think these cost us, guys? What do you think these cost us? Well, we'll tell you at the end of the video. Obviously, the Vitavon ones are about, what are they, 40, 50 quid for a front one, about the same for a rear, I think, round about that. Well, these were nowhere near that um, price. So let's get them fitted, do a quick video on fitting them, see what they're like and give them a good thorough test. So guys, this is what we get in the kit. We've got a rear kit there and a front one there. Now these rods or the actual sway bar itself is actually three mil as opposed to two mil. So it's 50% thicker than standard. So it should firm up the suspension. We do get nice in the kit, a drill bit. Um, so it makes it easier to fit because obviously these are bigger. They've got to pass through a slightly larger hole. These parts are nice alloy, so you haven't got any plastic on this at all. The drop links are really quite nice. I don't know if you can see on camera, but they've actually got, obviously they're a, well, they're a rose joint, aren't they? Uh, they've actually got a rubber um, shim on them or a rubber O-ring around them as well to make them more, um, more rigid. So that's good. So let's get them on. Let's start with the rear, shall we? First things first, let's whip off the old bar. There is our old sway bar off. I don't know if you can see on camera how much thicker the new one is. So that is going to have a significant impact on the handling, we hope. First things first, we are going to use the supplied drill bit just to drill out these holes here so we can get the new one through. Just on one side. There we go, that goes through there. I'll just do the other side. So that is our sway bar in there. That's nice and firmly in there. Nice and smooth rotation in the chassis mounts. So we now have our drop links. They are handed. So this one is the left hand one. There's a flat on the end of the shaft for it to go on. So there we have the grub screw which goes into here. You need to make sure this tightens down onto the flat of the shaft. We will thread lock this. Anything metal into metal will always thread lock. Then we have the drop link. We've got new screws, top and bottom. You've got adjustment on here as well. You've got three holes which will affect the stiffness of the roll bar. We will go on the outer one to start with. Again, I need to thread lock this and then into the mount on the axle. That is one side done. Just need to do the other side. And that is it done. So can't really feel the difference now on the truck. You need the wheels on it, need it on the ground. So front, if anyone doesn't know what a sway bar does, basically it connects the two wheels. If this was a really heavy sway bar, when you move one of the wheels, the other, the other one should move a little bit because it connects them. So this suspension moves up and it has an effect on that side. So that wheel there, I move that up, is not moving at all. And what we'll do, when we've fitted the new one, the new 
thicker whirl bar we'll see if it has an effect it should then move that wheel up you'll see the rear is slightly different but harder to see because it's a solid axle they're connected it doesn't work it works in a similar way but it's not quite so easy to see so let's whip the old one off so let's whip the old one off one link two link and here is a thin little roll bar and if anyone's had these udr trucks for some time you do tend to snap these quite easily these new ones are not gonna snap well i'll be very surprised if they snapped anyway we do just need to run the drill bit through where it passes through in the chassis again so with our sway bar fitted through there so we now have these links again to go on which are held in with the grub screw, which again, yes, you need to thread lock. We then have the links, same as the rear ones, but again, are quite nice, they are alloy. And on this one, they have to be handed. They are actually handed at, a, at an angle, so you need to make sure you get them on the right way. Goes in there like so. We then have the link into the arm. Then it's just the same on the other side. So that is it done. Now, if you remember me saying what the, the sway bar does, watch the wheels now. That one is moving up a bit. So it means the front of the truck is stiffer. So when we go into a corner, it should roll less. So let's see what happens now in the field. Ready? Let's see what this roll bar's oh, like. Oh, oh, oh. I bet it won't fall over at all. Yeah, we're all right. Hopefully not. Ready? Three, yep. two, one, go! Oh, I had to back out of that. He came right across in front of me. That's a bumpy old uh, straight we got there. Oh, the stability! Big word for me, stability. Oh. Of course, I don't have any roll oh, bars sorry. on this. got the cone. On oh, this chap. he moved that cone. Oh, oh, there's big bumps there. Oh, oh nice four-wheel slide round there. Lovely. Ah, come back, come back, come back. Oh, wow. Uh, Look at what's happened to the slash behind. He seems to be making his own lines up. Right. Oh, lovely. Four wheel slide through that. Oh, that's nice. I'm actually he's got me on this one. I'm pushing it a bit now. Here we go. Let's pick it into here. Oh, lovely. A bit of showboating going on? No, not showboating. Just trying to drift around the corner, but it didn't really work <laughs> out for me. Oh! There. Go on, I'll let you go on the inside this time. Ugh. I'll start over here. That's <laughs> nice. That is round that top corner there. Fling, fling it in. Yeah. Right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Well, oh, oh, there was, was uh, no feather in the throttle from the slash off the line. Oh, oh, oh. he's on his wheels. I was starting to walk, didn't need to. I could see he was off his podium, Not waiting start, to go and get it. Come oh. on. Tried to flick it in, didn't really want to. There's a big bump up here somewhere. Oh, yeah, caught the comb. Avoid the little boppy doppy thing. Flick it in here. Half roll. Missed all the big bumps. I can hear something going He's on gone. behind. There we go. I have to disable his roll bars or something. Need to get that. Right. Take it nice and easy. Nah, let's flick it in here. Ah, oh, come back, come back, come back. Oh, a little error at the end, but. This is driving nicely, but it's not quite fast enough to keep up. Ready? Yeah, 2 new, I think, to you. It is. Three, two, one, go. Oh, he's all over the place, standing straight. Oh, he's... Oh, oh, that's nice. nice. Oh, I like that, I'll give him that. Oh. You know, oh, he's, he's on his wheels. 
to give it full Dunno. power and it just Dunno. went crazy. It is quite rapid on full power, that is, to be yeah. fair. It's, it's geared a bit lengthy. And I've run it with the oh. 6S as well, but it seems more docile. It's the driver, I'd say. That's 3 now. You ready then? What? Ready? Yeah. Truck swap. Three, two, one, go! Well, this thing doesn't go in the straight line. Oh, I'm coming towards myself. Oh, can't get away, can Oh. Oh, he's... <laughs> that was rough. What are you through. doing? My... Taking a shortcut, that's what I was doing. Here we go, down the straight. Oh, 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 that was close. They're so closely matched, aren't they? It really is. Out of there. Oh. Oh. I don't really want to crash into my truck. Oh, oh that cone on. didn't right. want to be lap. there anyway. Oh. Last lap. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm wagging down the straight. Left, right, left, right. Oh, he's got me now. I'm... Oh, did I see a little tumble there? Oh. Oh, I've got a cone. Ha. Do park a little bit closer? <laughs> okay, go on then. Right, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! Going out of sight. Oh, he's coming to. Oh, oh I might have got that turn. I did stop. Not quite sure where the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got to put that, that cone back. Was, um, we know roughly where we're going. Up the inside. There we go. Down the straight. He's cut back. I can cut back. Bumpity bumpity bit. Oh! He hit that bump, but it made him go wide on that corner. Not even bother with that now. Here we go. Oh, I'm ah. halfway down the straight. I was sideways. And we're even trying for a little roll. I'm flying it into there. Oh! We've just stopped. Oh, no. Well, guys, for what they cost, I think... I will put a link down below how much they cost. I think it was about 35, 40 pounds shipped to the UK from China. That's a bargain. That transforms the handling of the truck. I know a lot of guys out there, you guys, you don't have these roll bars on. You say taking the roll bars makes the trucks handle better. Oh, God knows what planet you're on. Just doesn't work for us. Putting them on makes a big difference. That thicker um, diameter of the roll bar stiffens up the truck a bit. Makes it 10 times better. Worthwhile upgrade for the UDL.